in the day here about eh, about five o'clock i'm actually hooked up to a skitter right now one of our little cable skitters and we're taking it down to springfield this evening and the reason i'm going this evening is because i want traffic to die down around springfield if any of you guys that watch our channel have been or to springfield missouri or live around springfield traffic is an absolute nightmare uh, some people will compare it to kansas city traffic while i think that's getting kind of extreme because kansas city traffic's awful too but springfield traffic is getting worse all the time so i'm gonna leave out about 6 30 kind of let rush hour and stuff die down hopefully the pavement will start to kind of cool down a little bit too because i'm always kind of leery about pulling loads on hot pavement this time of year we're gonna get the skitter down there and kick it off tomorrow morning we're gonna bring down the giants you see in the video today we've got to pull one of them which is why we're taking the skitter down there uh, it really it won't need a lot to bring it over and we contemplated just trying to pull up the skid steer i'm nosy hurt look and see who's going by on the highway anyway we contemplated just trying to pull up the skid steer but like i was telling dad the the incline going down into the draw how the skid steer be pulling i just didn't think we could get enough pull with it that way so i would just assume bring the skidder down there better safe than sorry now you'll notice in the video today I'm doing a lot of cleanup on the floor, uh, forest floor, I just, floor, the ground, the floor, uh, prior to cutting. And this is for a couple reasons. One, because the clients intel, they're wanting to put solar panels in, in the area we're kind of logging out behind the house. So all the brush and debris, we're just pushing down over off into the draw. And that's where the debris pile will be from the treetops and you know the smaller stuff we're cleaning up for them uh, in turn there's some other timber i'm wanting to buy in the area and i'm noticing a lot of the a lot of the neighbors their little areas are kind of overgrown with the same type of stuff so in turn it's almost kind of like a, like a a business ploy in a way you know i and i've already told the gentleman we're cutting gentleman we're cutting on he's gonna speak to two of the neighbors tonight on each side about cutting a few of their trees and I told them I'd be more than happy to, to clean their timber up too to where it looks more kind of like a city park, like it's manicured. Because it is a nicer area of Springfield. At one time, it was like the place to live back in the 70s. So not so much that prestigious anymore, but it's still a nice area. Anyway, and I like to, I like to leave things looking good. His wife was extremely happy at the end of the day today when she seen what we'd done. And even though we just cut two trees today, it's pretty slow going where we're at because each tree, you, you just got to take your time and get it down, kind of get some of the cleanup done and get the next one down because if in such a confined space as big as the trees are, if you go to laying down too many too fast, you will have a mess beyond belief. So it's just kind of a pick up sticks game. You got to just kind of plan your next move almost like a game of chess. Anyway, I'm going to move this down there. We'll be ready to go first thing in the morning. So far today, everything cut pretty good. I almost hate to cut trees of this quality this time of year because our veneer markets aren't as strong as they will be in about a month, month and a half. But it was just one of those things that was either do it now or not going to do it at all. And well, it's just the way it goes sometimes. You know, you're, you're kind of at the mercy of your clients uh, more often than not. But, uh, we're extremely happy to have the job and I'm thankful to get it, and I plan on doing everything in my power to make it look good when we're done. I definitely want to leave it looking better than when we started. Guys, thanks a lot for following along. Uh, enjoyed all the comments and feedback from the truck video Saturday. Uh, we're still looking. I've, I've still got some things rolling around in my head. Still looking. I've kind of started looking a little further east for what I want, kind of up in maybe the Pennsylvania, New York area, up in there for the kind of truck I'd like to have, but we're still looking. Uh, definitely check out Logger Threads, guys. Uh, we have actually updated the Logger Threads website to a new platform, the Shopify platform. It makes it a lot easier to navigate. Uh, you know, I, I had some some folks call this weekend. They, we were having they were having some problems with the website that it wasn't brought to my attention when we went live with the new platform about a week and a half ago. Since then, that's all been fixed and updated, and everything's running smoothly again. And I'm greatly appreciative for people bringing that to my attention. So, yeah. Uh, hopefully we'll have a new design out here towards the end of the month we've been working on. It's It's been kind of a slow 
slow spring and summer for new designs for logger threads but it just seems like we've had a lot going on and the old creative juices in that department haven't been flowing as well as they need to be anyway guys thanks a lot we'll see you tomorrow enjoy the video i have literally been waiting to make this video for ever since i bought this job a couple weeks ago these are some of the biggest walnut trees i've ever bought in my life right here in the city limits of Springfield, down a kind of a pretty good little draw ravine behind a house in the subdivision right next to the Springfield Nature Center. All right now I'm just using the bucket to kind of clean the forest floor here. So we're going to put all the treetops right down here in this low area using the grapple and the skitter. There's about five of these big trees right here. When I say big, I'm going to stop here. These are smoke. We're going to cut the oak too, but we're going to start at the back and work our way forward. Chunk there. Go down here in just a second. Put the bucket down here. Right where it needed to be. Yep, fell that crotch fell just right. Those are trees. <laughs> My gosh, this, like I said, some of the biggest trees I've ever bought as far as walnut goes. There's five of them on this piece of property here. We got one of them down. The neighbor's got a humdinger right there. Definitely want to try to buy while we're here. But we're going to cut the oak and everything here. They're wanting to put in solar panels back here in this draw. So, these big red oak, which some of them aren't going to cut very good. But these walnut look really good. That walnut down there you see is actually bigger than this one dad's standing by. It's just the sheer height and the, the diameter. I mean, they're, they're just monstrous trees. It's like a like a game of chess when it's tight quarters like this and the trees are so tall and high dollar trees you you really want to make sure you get one tree cut at a time and I've been trying to get the kind of just the floor cleaned up where we've got ample room to work get all this cleaned up because like I said the the brush the debris will all go right here in this draw as we'll pile of debris. going to be able to do a whole lot until we get the skitter down here but one thing we can do I can get cleaned out around all the areas we're going to cut try to make this look a little nicer the soil is just saturated enough here that this stuff comes out real easy with the 299 even this uh, crotch tree here is a pretty good sized tree Get pushed out around it, everything cleaned out. 
kind of makes it easier working conditions. At least see what you're doing a little more. Dad, we can put that saw in the bucket. We can put that saw in the bucket and pack it out. I'm trying to make a few more passes here. So yeah, we're, we're not gonna be able to do a whole lot down here today. And I didn't figure we would until we got the skitter here. But what we are doing is getting these things cut. You can see this first one's cut from the video. I mean, it couldn't have been a better fall, but that behemoth there. And like I said, the nature center is maybe 200 yards. 200 yards to the south where the nature center starts. And I can remember from back when I was in school doing a forestry competitions in FFA. I can remember those big trees in there. I've been in there a few times since with some girlfriends in the bath, walking around. So they've got some neat trails. See through the dirty windshield here. You just can't keep this Lexan clean. I do like it because it's more durable, but it's hard to keep clean. Everything's gonna go right. Zoom back out. Oh, come on now. Go. I wouldn't think there'd be a whole lot holding. Let's see if I can raise my bucket up a little more here with my elbow. There she goes. Got her right there where we needed to be with it. Dad, 75 years old, and he's still a surgeon with that saw. Still a surgeon. Hey guys, if you like what you see, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for all of our latest videos.